Hi guys, so I've been researching some mods for Hearts of Iron 4. Um, going to be looking at playing uh, a mod that quite took my eye today. Um, it's Persia Rising. Um, thanks to Master Splinter for, for uploading this. I will leave the link for the mod uh, through Steam in the description below. Um, if you want to see more of me uh, using this mod, please like, um, subscribe to my page, and um, you know we'll see if we can make this into a series. All right, guys. So I've actually, I have actually already um, activated the mods um, prior to coming through to this um, here. We will be starting from 1936. Now, the Persia Rising mod um, does give um, an overhaul of Iran and and the Persia region. Um, so um, let's just see how good my uh, geography actually is. Um, let's find Iran. Okay, so the leader is Reza Shah Pahlavi. Um, do apologise if I mispronounce the names. Um, you know, I, I am from Yorkshire, so you know we do speak a totally different language here. Um, I'm not going to have this in Iron Man mode, and for the purpose of the game, I'm, I'm not going to have historical AI focuses on. Um, this is the first time I've actually played this mod, so um, if nobody's actually seen it, then um, you know. What I find out on here, you'll be finding out as well. Um, let's just wait for the game to, to start and we'll get going. Okay, so here we are. So the Persia Rising mod. I will do an, a video on on this mod later on. Um, get that uploaded just so you can see the the differences on there. Um, the main differences with this mod um, really is, is the overhaul of the national focus um, for Iran. Um, there's been eight new events added, three country events, um, and he he has added two negative starting national spirits, the Anglo-Iranian Oil Company and the Corrupt Bureaucracy and Judiciary. Um, but as I say, I will do a mod, um, sorry, a video later on um, just focusing on the mod um, as a whole and we'll, uh, we'll see what we get from there. So the first things first, let's just have a look at this uh, new national focus tree. Um, so in case, not, in case you've never played around before, that just had the general national focus tree, um, which you know is the same for a lot of minor nations. Um, now I have also um, included uh, the mod for the Yugoslavia national focus as well as a, another mod that allows me to um, actually be able to, to play several of these national focus mods at once. Um, just looking at this, this is quite a large tech tree now. Um, you know, I, I really am going to struggle with uh, finding my way around, um, seeing what, what's the best. But, you know, um, that's the whole point of this video um, and this playthrough is just to see what we can get, obviously, um, you know, potentially see if we could take over the world. Now, I'm not actually decided whether I'm going to go um, fascist, which would be the nationalism. Um, communist, which is the communism focus, or, or democratic, as a democratic focus. Um, you know, each each does lead to, to something totally different. Um, but again, you know, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, let's just have a look around this focus tree for the first focuses. Um, so we've got urbanise the countryside, which adds two infrastructure at Fars, Khuzestan, and Isfahan. Um, you know that that does look quite good to get the industry going, um, and then get you know the industrialization of the north and the south. Um, it would also lead to the extra tech tree slots as well. Um, now I am presuming, yeah, we o we only need one side of of this, um, either the education reform or the urbanised the countryside. Um, from the looks of it. Um, we'll probably go um, down here first, um, get to our extra tech slots, um, 
especially that second one just there um, so that we can get researching technology a lot faster now I'm not actually going to rush into um, creating such a massive army um, you know I'm going to try and defend myself as, as well as possible um, and then you know we'll, we'll look to, to be moving forward from there I'm hoping to get the majority of the, the focus tree complete um, prior to, to going off and, and waging war um, unless you guys have a totally different idea for myself um, which you can leave in the in the comments below um, and we'll you know we'll see what we can make of this together um, so the education reform um, national focus that gains national spirit um, which grants research time um, minus three um, percent yeah that, that could be um, quite handy later on um, just to boost the research time especially when we get into you know the three um, 300 day research um, options now create an MIC um, so it grants us an extra political advisor um, Masood Lajani uh, which grants war industrialist gives a military factory construction speed plus 10 percent and dockyard construction speed plus 10 percent we may end up just ignoring that for for the time being um but it does give a 50 percent to 50 percent research bonus support tech um the government reform yeah that just has a political power um that's very similar to a lot of the major nations um focuses to revive the empire oh, that's again another extra 120% political power so in, in total there's 240 political power just you know off the first um, the first row of the focuses there um, modernize the Artesh so it grants Hassan Shirali as a political advisor um, which gives us army maneuver expert so that's division speed plus ten percent, and it adds two military factories in Tehran, uh, as well as two extra building slots. It does also give us a plus fifty army experience. That could be quite uh, quite useful later on. Foundation of flight. I'm going to presume we've not got any air force bases. Um, Afshin Gademi, um, which grants air combat training specialist, eighth generation chance. Plus five percent, and it adds an air force base in uh, Isfahan, Fars, Kazakhstan, and Azerbaijan. Mm. Also gives twenty-five air experience. Mm. Uh, well, we can we can certainly make an air force from Iran. Um, the naval expansion. Um, that's two fifty percent research bonus for naval doctrine, and it adds. Two naval dockyards, two building slots in Fars and Kazakhstan, and also gives us plus 50 naval experience. Mm. Overall, my um, on first look, this is a massive tech tree. Um, let's just see what the second line down gives us. So I gain, I gain one research slot. Oh. Ah, oh, that's. That's quite early. Um, we can gain a research slot pretty much straight away. Have we only got two research slots? We have. Well, that could be useful. Um, I'm going to have to rush that research slot. Wow. Urban planning had two building slots in pretty much every province. Then gives us a 10% military factory construction speed as well as civilian factory. Wow. That is... I take my hat off to Master Splinter. This is this is a great uh, national focus tree. So I, I think we're going to go for the education reform. Get that first research slot there. Ah, reform the judiciary. 
and claim the Persian gold. Wow. Yeah. We'll go for the education reform, we'll get that first research slot, and then we'll go to urbanise the countryside, I think. So that's that set off there. Um, just looking at around. You know, we, we're starting off with a lot more troops as well. Um... You know, we've got Iraq to the west of us, Afghanistan and the British Raj to the east. Soviets to the north, that's going to be quite a difficult one I think. And we've got Ocean to the south. I tell you, we could go Iraq and Saudi Arabia as well as getting Afghanistan. Open ourselves up. Um, We'll leave Turkey as a buffer for the time being. Um, what's that? UK control that area. Huh? Get the Oman as well as the Yemen. Yeah, I, th I think we can go and take over <laughs> quite a bit of the uh, Middle East here. Anyway, um, I digress. I'm getting too excited looking at um, the majority of that there. Let's see what research we can get going. Um, obviously, it's going to be the electronic mechanical engineering as well as we'll go for the production. In terms of the free civilian factory, so. We've got eight in total at the moment. Um, wow, certainly a lot of space. Um, yeah, we'll put several up there. Increase that. That. I think one more for the time being. There we go. That would then put us up to fifteen factories in total um, so when we uh, then do need to build any more we've got plenty of uh, factories to, to be looking at at the moment we do have free military factories as well what can we get um, we can get some told artillery we do start with a tank that's more than a lot of minor nations ah we do have an air force not much for the navy though I don't think I want the uh, Great Wall tank. It just seems a little pointless. Hmm. I'll do that, I think. Low manpower. 39.38k. Yeah, this one's you. Not really bothered about the chunks and not worth trading a factory away for that. Hmm. And we'll ignore that for the time being. We've not got any army experience to um, to be able to design any templates at the moment. Just bear with me a second. Take a drink. Okay, so what have we got here? I'm going to split in these. Um, a couple of mountain companies. Not really any mountains around though. There's a lot of plains. Oh, mountain there. It seems a little pointless. Is that mountain there? It's a mountain. No, that's a mountain. I suppose we could uh, have our mountain troops guard our uh, border with. With the Soviets would be beneficial. There's only three of them, but okay. So I wonder how many commanders we have. Ooh. Uh, yeah, see, we, he would be a desert fox. <laughs> fox a devil. Let's 
to make them guard the entire defensive line there. Um, I'm now thinking of splitting the remainder of our troops. Um, we do have... Five, seven, eight, eleven. Yeah, we'll do a five and a uh, five and a six. Probably add the cavalry to the uh, the extras. Yeah, we'll add the cavalry to the fives. We will set your defensive line with Afghanistan. The defensive border between Iraq and Iran seems larger, so it makes more sense to uh, set them in this fashion. And I'm probably doing this a slow way. Slow and steady win wins the race. Ah. No, I didn't miscount. We'll have you defend that one. Right, let's get some recruitment going. Wow. Train some more mountain. In there, and we will assign them straight away. Should do for now. Might train a couple more of them. I think as soon as they come out as well, I think I'll just train them straight away. That's it. Max manpower. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start it going. Wow, 18 minutes long already. <laughs> Don't have a. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Okay, so uh, let's just. I hope everybody's moving. I think we'll uh, we'll go for the first national focus, and then we'll call it the end of the video. Um, and then we'll pick up on the next video from where we left off. Ah, that was something I didn't check. The national spirit at the moment. Anglo-Iranian oil company gives a recruitable population of minus one percent. Recruitable population factor minus ten percent. National unity minus ten percent. Daily political power cost plus 0.5%. Daily communism support plus 0.05%. Daily fascism support plus 0.05%. Mm. So in 1933, the British Anglo Iranian Oil Company struck a deal with the government of Iran to solve drilling rights of Iranian oil fields, a constant topic of debate and source of internal troubles for Iran. 
you know, we'll have to get that changed at some point. It's a corrupt bureaucracy and judiciary. So that's another half a percent off the recruitable population. National unity down by 10% again. So is construction speed. Ideolo ideology drift defense is minus 15%. Research time plus 5%. Justifying war goal time plus 50%. Planning speed plus minus 25%. Division organization minus 5%. Reinforce rate minus 5%. Land doctrine research time plus 10%. Now we do need to get that overturned. So our, our society runs on nepotism. Lines are replaced with bribes. Generals are sons of the rich elite. We are led by fools and chariots. Do we need to get that changed? Didn't actually stick anybody on the board with Turkey here. Yeah be the new uh, the new guys so once everybody's in position I'm thinking we'll get some training going not quite there yet you guys are there oh, we do have some on the experience level not all of them there wow takes a long time to get across Iran we're in position now. That's great. There we go. Now it does look like it'd be quite easy to take Iraq. Straight into Baghdad. But Baghdad and Fallujah. Kabbalah. Hmm. Take, take that quite quickly. British in Q8. Don't we just love it? Just crank up the speed a little. Whoops. Twenty victory points. We've also got Tabriz is worth twenty victory points too. <laughs> well, at least the mountains are nearly done. Ooh. Plus five percent for communism. I don't know whether I want to go communist. Would be the easier one to do. The two day party. No, today. So it's a bit like ta da. We are nearly there with the national focus. We will slow down a little. Day away. And we'll sort out the uh, war theatres later. Wow, two percent. Ooh, Germany and the Rhineland. Now how the French take it? Let's just pause the game. Hmm. So that's education reform done. And I think that's it for us, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Remember to subscribe to my page. Um, I'd just like to take a, a little moment to say thank you to, to my friend, um, Rebecca Sigsworth. Um, she has um, recommended people view from, from her page. So if, if you do follow Rebecca um, and you've come from her page to my page, um, thank you for that. I will leave a link to, to her videos um, in the description below. Um, and we'll catch you later.